Hi friends, Miss Manning here. I hope you're ready to take another peek at the fun story, Mercy Watson Thinks Like a Pig. Now, last time we read, we know that Mercy was in the yard with Eugenia. Now the Watsons thought they were playing tag, but Baby clearly told them it was not tag, that Mercy had just eaten all the pansies. So of course, Mrs. Watson figured she must be hungry and called Mercy over for some toast. Meanwhile, next door, Eugenia was so upset and she decided to take extreme measures by calling animal control. So now friends, we will start with the next chapter to see what happens. Chapter seven. The phone rang at the Animal Control Center. Animal Control Officer Francine Poulet answered. Help you, said Francine Poulet. Yes, said the voice on the other end of the line. I am calling to report an animal desperately in need of control. Mm -hmm. Got yourself a rabid dog, said Francine. Well, no, said the voice mm -hmm. on the other end. Stray cat? Certainly not, said the voice. Raccoon in your trash? No. Squirrel in your chimney? I think not. Snake in your toilet? I beg your pardon? Let me think said Francine Poulet. It's not a dog or a cat. It's not a raccoon or a squirrel. And it's definitely not a snake. What could it be? <gasps> Wait a minute, said Francine Poulet. You're not dealing with a skunk, are you? What I'm dealing with is a pig. A pig? A pig! Give me the address, said Francine Poulet. 54 Decawoo Drive, said the voice. Chapter 8. At 54 Decawoo Drive, Mercy was on the couch taking an after-toast nap. She was snoring. What a peaceful afternoon, said Mrs. Watson. Indeed, said Mr. Watson. Oopsies. Someone is at the door, said Mrs. Watson. I'll get it said Mr. Watson. He went into the kitchen. Come in, baby, said Mr. Watson. I can't, said baby. Something terrible is going to happen. It is. An unmentionable horror approaches. It does. Oh, Mr. Watson, said Baby Lincoln, you must protect her. Protect her, said Mr. Watson. Protect who? Baby threw herself into Mr. Watson's arms. She began to cry. There, there, said Mr. Watson. Mrs. Watson came into the kitchen. What is going on? she said. It seems an unmentionable horror is approaching, said Mr. Watson. Oh dear, said Mrs. Watson. 
I have always been terribly afraid of unmentionable horrors. What will we do? There, there, said Mr. Watson. I'm sure we will think of something. All right, so friends, that wraps up this chapter. Now, before I end, I want to point out a couple of things. Now, here we see unmentionable horrors. Now, some of you might be wondering what that means. So let's think about it. Unmentionable. That refers to things we don't talk about, things that are so bad you don't talk about them. And horrors refers to scary things. So baby Lincoln is coming over and telling the Watsons that something that she can't even say it's so bad is going to happen. And I suspect it has to do with what her sister was up to next door. Now, one other thing I want to point out before finishing is I love how we have a description of how baby is feeling. Right here, it says baby threw herself into Mr. Watson's arms she began to cry. Now the author could have just written that baby was nervous, but this really shows us, the reader, how she's feeling. And of course we can see in the picture. So friends, that's gonna be it for today. A quick little sneak peek of the next chapter, and I recognize some characters. All right, thank you so much for listening. I hope you tune in next time. Bye.